J meter is by Apache. I hope all of you know about Apache. They have given a lot of products including Tomcat. J meter is a load testing tool. When we talk about load testing, if you typically take a web application, there are multiple users. You cannot hire thousands of testers to test online on your marks, get set, click. So you need to mimic multiple users. When these people become concurrent, then you have either slowdown in the speed, slowdown or crash. But how do you ensure that the system is scalable, whether it can accommodate more users, whether it can accommodate more data? When it comes to load testing, load testing is part of performance testing. There are three typical parameters. One is users, the other one is data, the other one is time. The longer you test, there's a problem for the server. The more data you use, there's a problem for the server. The more the users are, it's all the more problem you get. So, somewhere you need to have a tool that can mimic users, that can pump in data, that can test it without any fatigue. JMeter solves this problem. This is open source, free. So whenever you have got a HTTP protocol, that is web-based application, or FTP protocol, you are downloading or uploading files, or anything with respect to SOAP, you will have a web services and then the service oriented architecture, if you have that kind of a protocol, you can test using JMeter. Over and above, there is a JDBC connector. When you say JDBC connector, through this you can directly hit the database with thousands of user connections. There are a lot of questions popping up. If you see here, already there are 300 people in this webinar room. So, even if you have, even if each one gives a question, raising a question, then we are talking about uh, 300 questions popping up every minute. What I would like to request you is, you reserve your questions. We will answer your questions after maybe 45 minutes. But some of the questions which are relevant to what we are talking at that moment, we will definitely answer those. One of the questions that already came, what is performance testing? Performance testing includes load, stress, scalability, volume, and endurance. When I say load, you expect certain number of users, you need to test for that much. When I say stress, you overload the system, see whether it handles that, but within a short period of time. Scalability meaning you need to find out the limit, the breaking point. Some people call this as capacity, some people call it as scalability. Volume meaning more data. If I have 10 million records in my database, will it work? When I have 10 million records in my database, at the same time 2,000 users are accessing, will my system get into a problem? That kind of a testing is volume testing. Endurance is test for long hours. Keep on loading the system for 24 hours, see what happens because systems which are to be running 24 by 7, at least you need to ensure once whether it is running 24 by 7. So performance test includes all these things, JMeter can be used for all these things. Another important thing is, uh, there is always a debate between open source versus commercial tool. If you take a commercial tool, load runner is a commercial tool, then silk performer 
it's a commercial tool that means there is a price for that so what is the big difference between open source tools and these commercial tools one of the foremost difference will be the usability if you see jmeter anyway we are going to see this if you use jmeter it will be more of techy friendly so if you are a developer turned tester you may like it but if you are a pure tester learning some of the open source tools will be difficult because it is not having a good UI it will get the same results but the presentation may not be that high and more importantly commercial tools uh, support many protocols for example I need to test a SAP application, SAP application or Oracle apps, I need to test that or I need to test some application with Flex or Silverlight. In those cases many open source tools, I would say most of the open source tools do not support that. So you need to really look at some commercial tools that supports these things but if your application is a simple HTTP maybe PHP, Python or uh, pure HTTP protocols or JSP you will not have any problems with open source tools but it may take a little bit more time but that is fine. With this introduction we will be taking on JMeter I am going to make Kaushik as the presenter. Kaushik is our senior test architect. He will be taking over the session. You will be hearing my voice as well. I am making Kaushik as the presenter. You will see that screen now. Okay. Good evening everyone. So, uh, thanks Nagarajan for uh, uh, the brief introduction to the tool. So, without making, without making uh, uh, much of us, let me directly get into the tool. So as uh, all of you know that uh, JMeter is a uh, open source performance testing tool and uh, this JMeter can be uh, downloaded from the internet. Uh, it's a free download. You can just go to the site um, jakarta.apache jakarta.jmeter.com If you just go to this site you will be able to download this. There will be a zip file and uh, you can download this zip file and once you have downloaded it you can just unzip it. Uh, it will make the uh, tool ready. Okay, so And one important thing that is required for jmeter is you need to have JDK installed on your machine. JDK at least 1.5. Java version 5 or you can have the higher versions as well. You can have higher versions as well but you need to have uh, the basic JDK installed on your machine. Okay. So first thing is you need to download the JDK, the JMeter zip file uh, from the internet. So I have downloaded it and uh, I have put that in my machine D drive. So this is how a, a, a zip file would come in. And once the zip file comes in, we just unzip it, it becomes a, a folder. It will automatically come into a folder. And uh, Windows users, Windows users, if you want to run JMeter after you have installed JDK, you need to set the Java home path and Java home path and you also need to have the Java class path set in your environment variables. So I'm just going to show you how to set the Java home path and the Java path file in your in your machine and then you would start JMeter. So if you try to start JMeter without setting up the uh, Java home path and uh, the Java class path file, uh, the, the, system, the JMeter might not even start. Okay, so uh, once you have 
installed java on your machine go to your uh, my computer c drive under the program files folder you will find the java folder go to the jdk path okay just copy this path copy this path and then you have to create now you will be creating a uh, environment file right so right click right click on my computer right click on my computer properties advanced environment variables then uh, create a, a java uh, uh, class for, i mean java home uh, uh, thing okay so you just say new java underscore home and then all caps java underscore home should be all caps and then you specify this one uh, just, just a quick thing uh, a few people Kaushik, one second. A few people are having some yeah. difficulties on seeing the screen. Uh, are you all able to see the screen? Can you please raise the hands? There's a hand symbol. Okay. But I think uh, 90, 98 to 99 percent of the people are able to see. I think people who are not seeing the screen in motion, it is because of your bandwidth. So you need to probably disconnect and then connect. It's uh, something to do with your connectivity. Most other people are able to do that. And just to add on this Java Home, if you are not 100% sure uh, why you are not you are not able to do something on JMeter, you please talk to one of your Java developers. They can set this Java Home and Class Path information for you. Okay. Fine. Go ahead. Okay. So. You, you create a variable name java underscore home all capital and then you copy the JDK installation directory path and then you, um, you just paste that over there. So java home path is created. Similarly under the system variables go to your path, go to your path variable, there is already a path variable defined. Uh, click on edit. There is already some path. Don't disturb that path. It might it might be even faster for your operating system as well. Don't uh, change that path. Uh, simply put a semicolon. Simply put a semicolon, and go to the bin directory and copy the path. So previously I just copy for Java Home. I simply copied the base directory. Now I'm copying the path till the the bin directory as well, and then I would paste this. Uh, in along with this and say okay say, okay that's it so that is this is a very very important configuration uh, if you don't do it you might okay uh, so so once this is done uh, now you can directly go to your uh, j meter now so this is done now so this, this, this is the first thing that we have to do and once this is done you are now about to start the JMeter. Now I am going to start JMeter on my machine. So I just go to D drive. So in my J in this I have already downloaded and unzipped the JMeter. Just open it then I go to the bin directory. So inside the bin directory, I have this file, a batch file called JMeter. I have this bin directory. Inside the bin directory, I have this file JMeter. Simply double click on it. You should be able to see the JMeter up and running. So all you have to do is go to once the JMeter uh, is unzipped, you open the zip folder, go to the bin directory, you will see a batch file with name JMeter. Just double click it, you should be able to see JMeter up and running. Is that clear? Yes. 